Hey guys, welcome to Sippin' and Spillin' with Sid from 3 Mississippi. How are y'all doing today? Gotta watch my step here, I'm coming through the, coming through the porch. Um, we had like a, a rainstorm this afternoon. It was sunny, it was beautiful, it was a little overcast, but it was nice. It's kind of about like this, but a little sunnier. Um, and then all of a sudden the skies opened up and dumped a bunch of water. And uh, <laughs> then it was over. <laughs> but uh, Frankie's already finished with school, so uh, she was able to do a couple of things today while she's been home. Um, I uh, gave her a little chore list, you know, some things to get done uh, before we leave. The animal troughs, the water troughs were due to be scrubbed out and refilled, and so she did that, and she got the rest of Mike's trees planted. So they're all in the ground and happy now. I know a couple of you made a comment about them being in the background the other day. Mike had planted all the ones up front, which was quite a few, and then um, they had obviously had already done the holes, but hadn't gotten them actually in the ground yet. So now they're all in the ground, which is good. So hopefully they don't shock while we're, <laughs> while we're gone, but I think they'll be all right. Um, and I've just been packing stuff up and going through my checklist. You know, me and Tim from Ridge Life, we, we are the list makers. We enjoy a good list. We enjoy checking things off those lists. We enjoy double checking those <laughs> lists. Um, so I, I'm very happy with the progress I've made so far today. Obviously some of the things can't be packed up till last minute, like the coolers and things like that. Um, but that's okay. I, you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> My one concern is we do have an award ceremony for Frankie before we leave. So we've got to kind of pack everything up, have it all staged, come back after her award ceremony that morning and then load up the trucks. I'm just hoping that I can get enough done between Wednesday night after our live and in the wee hours of Thursday morning um, so that we can leave basically as soon as we get home, just throw the luggage in the car and all the stuff we have to bring in the truck grab the ducklings for come on uh, homesteading, get them up on come on mountain, and we'll be ready to take off and, and get going. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, Mike's been, he mowed all the front and all the back. He's got one little strip left that he didn't get to last night because it got too dark. Um, so I don't know if he's gonna get to it tonight because we have a meeting at uh, church tonight. So we went, may not be back till, uh, well, I know we'll be back after dark, but um, it, he may not get a chance before then. He's trying to get everything tied up at his day job before we go so that, you know, especially since we likely won't have the best service while we're there, um, it'll be really hard for him to kind of check in at work. So he wants to make sure everything's sort of squared away. And then um, our family friend that's house sitting, farm sitting for us while we're gone is going to come by tomorrow afternoon to kind of just go over everything again. I, of course, wrote a detailed list of, you know, the chores and stuff, but he is like me and likes to have things, you know, kind of ha really have a good layout of everything, an idea of what he's doing. So uh, he's a very studious young man. So he's going to be uh, coming to kind of go through everything with me tomorrow and just make sure that everything's all our, all our I's are dotted and our T's are crossed, you know? Um, just kind of getting all that done, but I'm so excited to see everybody. I know I must sound like a, a broken record. I do love a good car trip. I love a road trip. Um, you know, the, the truck is so comfortable, so blessed to have our, our little Truvy. Um, you know, when we used to take family trips in the car, it was always in, you know, Mike's little fit. Um, and it's, it's not as comfortable <laughs> of a drive or ride, that little car. Um, it does hold surprisingly a lot of stuff, but it's not a super, oh, hi Bunko, you scared the bejesus out of me. He just came up and like leaned on my legs and uh, scared me, <laughs> but that's what he do. That's what you do, huh? Yeah, you can say hi. Yeah. So, um, yeah, basically uh, it's, it's nice to be able to kind of spread out in the truck, have things in the back of the truck because we've got tables we have to bring. We've got canopies to bring and stuff like that and the big cooler because I got to bring you know the eggs and the this and the that and I got my firecrackers I started this morning so they can soak and I can bake them off tomorrow morning while I'm 
doing my, I always like to clean the house before I leave for a trip. I, mean, I know Auntie Ann can relate. Uh, I know David always cleans uh, before he leaves to go somewhere so he doesn't come home to a messy house. And I don't like to, I mean, not that I don't already clean my house, like deep clean it once a week, but, and daily you have your tasks that you do. But if I have somebody coming to stay, I like to make sure that I've just scrubbed the toilets and I've just mopped the floors and I've just done all those things so that it's as fresh as it can be <laughs> when they arrive. Um, you know, it's my own little personal Airbnb, I guess, that I like to do because I'm weird like that. But, um, but yeah, I, uh, I got to get that done tomorrow morning. And then, of course, we have our live with you guys. Um, well, as you're seeing this, we have our live with you tonight, I guess, because I'll probably post this Wednesday unless I change my mind. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully we'll see you in the live. Um, I don't think we'll be going live from the road. I will be filming some, but trying to navigate and film for me is not always pleasant. <laughs> so I think I, I think we may just be filming some snippets on the road. And then of course, you know, filming um, when we get to David's, of course. So that'll be fun too. But look, look at all my Cornish down there. I mean, I processed 24 of them all together between last Friday and the Friday before, but there's still, there's still a lot of birds down there that are getting closer and closer every day to being ready, <laughs> being ready to go to winter camp. So uh, I'm going to have my, my schedule and my work cut out for me when we get back. And also when we get back, in fact, it may happen while we're gone. Uh, they might deliver the gravel while we're gone. And then when we get back, we have uh, someone from town coming to do some trenching out here. Um, because I don't know if you guys can tell, but we've got hoses running. Hundreds and hundreds of hoses, I feel like. <laughs> you know, there's just a lot of hoses uh, going everywhere. We have one out to the garden and one out to the trough because there is only one spigot on the back of the house and one spigot on the front of the house. Um, so we just have hoses coming off the split that we added to the back going to all three places, but we would like to get those buried um, so that we can put a spigot back here and we can have a spigot by that pen and a spigot over here with the, the garden and with Beulah. So that is the plan and that will, uh, that will be happening this next week after we get back um, you know Mike looked into of course doing it himself and renting the trenching equipment that he needed but it was going to cost us five hundred dollars for the weekend to rent it and and to do it ourselves um, and the guy that we can hire to do the work that has the correct machine is a hundred dollars less and he can do it in one day versus the whole weekend so we decided <laughs> we were going to treat ourselves because it's actually cheaper uh, to do it that way. Sometimes it's actually cheaper to hire somebody than to do it yourself when it comes to equipment, things like that and certain plumbing things and stuff. You know, it's like, is it going to take us, you know, six weeks to, to do it correctly if we try to do it ourselves or is it more beneficial to just get it done correctly by somebody who's a professional and has the right equipment and all of those things so i think that was the verdict on that <laughs> we decided to, to to go that route um, which is good because it'll be done before freedom weekend and in theory uh some of the grass that has will be trenched up and kind of you know the yard back here that will have been ripped up a little bit we'll have time to kind of come back um, a little bit because it you know comes back pretty quickly out here um, you know especially you get these little afternoon showers and then it's sunny again and you know all good so shouldn't be too bad I'm gonna I'm, I'm inspecting Frankie's work right now because I the last time I had her do the troughs because I I normally do them but with my back and my hip still uh, kind of recovering I did go to the chiropractor as promised um, and he yelled at me for waiting so long <laughs> and not coming in for maintenance. And I know that was my bad. And I told him, I was like, I know. Um, but, uh, I'm, I'm still sore and he, and I knew I would be after getting adjusted, 
um, but it's better today. Um, but oh yeah, she did a good job. Looks like, I mean, it looks pretty clear to me. Looks like she got all the algae that was growing out. Let's see if Beulah will come. Let's see. Beulah May. Beulah. Come on. Good girl. There she is. There she is. Hi, beautiful. Hi. I love when she comes running over. It's the cutest thing. Hi, baby. Who's mama's good girl? Yes, Beulah May. Oh, somebody's been rolling in the dirt. Yes, were you rolling in the dirt, mama? I brushed you this morning. You wouldn't know to look at you. I say I get brushed every morning. Yes, she gets brushed every morning and then this time of year she gets fly spray. Um, huh, yes, you just got one eye booger hanging off your eyelash, don't you? Just a little bit. I know, I didn't bring you anything. I was just calling you over to give you love. Oh, oh, I just tripped over a board. <laughs> Hi, mamas. Can you say hello? Can you say hi, Beulah May? I'm such a good girl. I'm such a good pony. Yeah, such a good girl. I brought her, um, I was cooking yesterday, I was making stew, so I was cutting up carrots, and I brought her over a bunch of carrots. And she loves that. Carrots is like her favorite thing um, of real food that I've given her besides like, you know, her oats. Um, she gets her little horse biscuits, but she likes watermelon and watching her eat watermelon is kind of amusing but every other thing from the garden that i've tried to give her or vegetables or fruit she doesn't seem to like she, she she'll eat an apple if it's green she only likes green apples which same same girlfriend same um and she doesn't like them near as much as she likes carrots um so she's just she's she just has what she likes and that's okay but she's a good girl yeah, see, I'm a pretty girl, Beulah May. Who's a pretty pony? I know. You still got one piece of grass in your mouth, ma'am. Hanging out your mouth. Come here. Come here. There it is. You want it? No? She's like, no, I already chewed on it. <laughs> She's so stinking cute. But uh, she did a good job on the troughs. I'm impressed. And then I had her clean out. I had emptied one of the brooders um, that had the geese in it that I brought to Jen. If you didn't see uh, the video that premiered, or not premiered, but that posted uh, yesterday on 3 Mississippi, go check that out. We actually, I brought Jen her birthday and Christmas present. Her birthday was uh, Sunday actually on Mother's Day, but uh, I had gotten her a male and female goose, Sebastopol, and I brooded them for her and they were ready to come out. Um, my little Benedict is doing really well out there with, with uh, Evelyn and Millie and Roderick. Um, so he's, he's doing really well out there with them. And uh, it was time to get her her geese. So we, she had a crawfish boil for her birthday on Saturday, the day before. And so we went up and did that. And I filmed a little bit of that and given her the geese and, uh, you know, I, I know. See, she's mad because I walked away. She's like, why'd you walk away? She's mad probably too because I didn't bring her anything. I don't bring her stuff. She knows she only gets treats in the morning every once in a while, like yesterday because I was cooking and I had a bunch of carrots. I brought her some carrots out. Um, but that is not normal for her to get like a treat randomly in the day. Um, it's really just morning and sometimes Frankie will give her one in the evening. Yeah. Probably horse hair in my mouth. <laughs> but, you know, at least uh, she's so much better. She's doing so much better. Um, just, she's not a loving horse. Like she doesn't want to snuggle and nuzzle that much. She will sometimes if you go walk in the pen with her and sometimes she'll want to come for a walk and nuzzle and put her head on your shoulder. But most of the time, that's, that's few and far between that she wants that much interaction. Um, but she's come a long way as far as, I think, trusting us. Um, and, you know, like coming when I call her like that. Um, you know, if I wanted to put her halter on right now, I, I could. She wouldn't fight me on it. Um, you know, she's just not like a, you know, some horses want kisses and whatever. Like our neighbor's horse, Clover, I can kiss her nose and love on her and she'll, you know. She, Beulah's not like that. <laughs> Beulah's like, um, what are you doing? Why? <laughs> Why 
why are you like this? <laughs> but she's a sweet girl. Um, and I think she's kind of finally settled in um, quite a bit. And, and her, her mood has definitely improved. She doesn't just try to randomly bite everybody anymore. <laughs> so that's good. But man, guys, we had a storm cloud. We were supposed to get more, ooh, it's looking a little threatening over there. We are supposed to get more thunderstorms um, in the next bit here tonight. So hopefully it won't be too bad while we're having a drive to church and back from church tonight. Um, but still a long list of stuff to get done to get ready to leave for Thursday. Um, I, I feel like I've done the majority of it, but you know, there's all that last minute stuff. It just takes takes time. I know. I'm coming back over because you were so vocal about it. I don't know if you guys could hear her because I'm mic'd, but she just wants to, she just, she does want you around at least. She didn't always. Huh? See, I didn't always, but then she does this. As soon as I come over, she's like, all right, well, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to see if I could make you walk over. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> so on that note, <laughs> Beulah, what do you have to say? Do you want to say anything? Do hmm? you have anything to say? Are you a good girl? To say I'm a pretty girl. Can you drink water? Oh, such a good baby. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a great week so far. I hope those of you that are coming to the meetup uh, have a safe trip and a good journey. Um, and I will be posting a video on Friday of us getting to Arkansas and hanging out with David and Tim and Levi uh, up there on Come On Mountain. I'll be turning that around uh, Thursday night in our cabin and getting that posted. So hopefully I can do a good job. It might be a little less artistic than some of my videos and a little less flowery than some of them. It might be a little more direct because I'm going to be turning it around so quickly. But uh, Hopefully you guys will still enjoy it and you'll watch it and you'll, you'll uh, feel like you were there. And then, uh, then we'll, we'll get to see you. Hopefully those of you that are uh, traveling to the meetup or maybe some of you don't have to travel that far, but we'll get to see you there. And, and uh, those of you that are gonna be watching from home and watching all the videos that get posted and watching all the lives, we hope that uh, we capture the essence of it for you and that you enjoy it. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get back in there and finish uh, putting a few final touches on some things and double checking one of my lists. <laughs> so I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. And as always, guys, remember, safety's off.